Hello everybody, I am Yoshigite, and today I'm going to be playing some Mario Kart Wii, once again on Wii Fi. So I know it's been a little while since I've played Wii Fi in the recent days, but I wanted to get back to it, and you know, it was a pretty nice day as I got out of school at 11 a.m., and so now it is uh, just about 2 o'clock right now. The time you see on the Wii menu is correct. Well, for the most part, it's actually 1.58, not 1.59. But now it's, it's 2 o'clock, but you now that's okay. It's around the proper time. So yeah, it's 2 o'clock p.m. right now, which is rather early when you consider watching my videos. Usually I'd say the time is actually rather late. But I mean, 2 o'clock p.m., it's a decent time for me to get you know, a recording in, so that's what I decided to do. And let's get this one going, because... I am ready to play some Mario Kart Wii. It's been a long time. It's been way too long. I'm um, sorry guys, but yeah, I mean, I just really had the urge to play. So anyways, here we are launching uh, the Mario Kart Wii channel on my Wii menu. As you could have seen on my Wii menu, um, NHL 2K11 was in the disc slot. So I'm going to use my ISO as I usually do. And hopefully there will be some people online. Um, I did see a battle room on Wii Fi. There was a battle going. There were some versus races as well. Um, but I'm going to strive to do a battle before I do anything else. But if there are no battles present, then you know I will go to the alternative, which is a worldwide versus race. Um, I still cannot play custom tracks worldwide on this Wii. For some reason, I just don't even know what the problem is. It's been going on for two years now. But, you know, that's just what happens. We buy, not sure what the deal is. But, you know, things happen. You know, unfortunately, I won't be able to play, I won't be able to play on CTWWs, but it's not terrible. I mean, we have two Wii's here, so one of them I'm actually able to find opponents on. It's when I use to date to play custom tracks worldwide on. But here we are online on Nintendo WFC. Excuse me for one second. Alright, need a good drink of water. I'm gonna check the friend roster. Doesn't look like there's anybody on right now, which is kind of ironic considering I would think that, you know, when I'm at school, people you know, across the world would be playing on Mario Kart, but no, I guess that was not the case. No, I do not want to do versus, I'm going to do a battle. And we'll see if there is a battle, in fact. So I'm going to choose Yoshi in the center bike M. It is just after 2 o'clock. So yeah, it's been a long time. I apologize. And, um, I really do want to make videos. Of course, my life is busy as heck. I'm probably going to be working this summer. So, I mean, this may be a once in a while kind of video where, um, you know, I might not upload too much after this because I'll be working. It'll be kind of interesting since this will be a first time experience. So, um, I mean, you gotta start somewhere, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I have yet to start my work ex uh, career or experience in regards to like working in general, whatever. Yeah, so I've yet to start that. So I'm playing to this summer, and yeah, of course, you know, the summer is like the time people who are minors begin working, so, um, you yeah, know, that's pretty much the case here. I don't think there is a battle right now, but yeah, so I might be working this summer, and that, of course, may limit my video production. But I mean, this year my video production has been really abysmal, and it's, I take blame for that, of course. I really did not anticipate, like, the work and the schoolwork and stuff like that. It's kind of deteriorated greatly on, like, how much free time I've had. All year I've been lazy, kind of, you know, not really feeling like making videos. And so. It just so happens that um, this year it was just bad, bad year for 
me making videos. Anyways, I do not see any worldwide battles. I'm gonna back out. Now look for a worldwide versus, which I did see when scrolling through Nintendo WSC. I'm going to choose the mock bike, not the standard bike. And I meant to say Wii Pi. Of course, Nintendo WSC is defunct. Okay, with the program. I really need to. But anyways, it didn't take too long. We're already five minutes in the video. I didn't think that would have been the case. But yeah, already five minutes. It's going by pretty quick. I want to get three or four races in. And then I'll wrap it up then, perhaps. Maybe I'll go longer, but it depends on the circumstances. In this video, I kind of do want to have an action-packed race, you know. Like one where we have a close um, photo finish, if you will. But, um, you know, that's just all I'm hoping for, is that I'll be an intense race where... Yeah, I'm not out of the question. I still have a chance to make something great happen. That's just really all I'm hoping for. And now we get disconnected. Of course, that's what happens when you have Wimpy 86420. 420, blaze it, Wimpy. So Wimpy kicked me out for who knows what. Well, that's the bullshit with Wimpy. You just, um. Some days it works fine, some days it's just really really pathetic and it's not my internet I'm guarantee you I mean I've done some speed tests where it maxed out <laughs> so I mean the speed test on that does not lie to me so anyways the second time is a charm and looks like we found a room with eight other opponents with me from the United States FB someone from Brazil SC K something, RCC Lenny from Germany, Andreas from the United States, somewhere in Florida, RCC Rick Stowe, 7Y from the United States, and Miss Some, and RCC Clyde. So we see a similarity in some of these players' names, uh, in specific RCC. There's no other clans, it looks like it's just RCC. And then we have um, players like 7Y as well. So anyways, these guys are doing Mushroom Gorge. We see it looks like 3, 5 out of the 6 players currently playing are using Funky Kong. Now we have 11 players due up for the next one. So they are going into their final lap, I think, with looks like Andreas in the lead. So this guy has one star, and he's going to make it interesting because he is front running. Ignore the lag there, he is still in the lead. So yeah, Andreas with one star dominating the rest of the players. You see triple star RCC Lenny trailing behind in fourth, it looks like. Um, RCC Clyde trying to catch up. Um, RCC Rick Stowe in third place. And there you see um, Andreas crossing the finish line. STK C45 is in now, it looks like fifth place as he beats RCC Lenny. And then we have the Toad, who I have actually not introduced him, I don't think. And it looks like he unfortunately falls last place on Mushroom Gorge. So that was how that race turned out. And this is kind of interesting. I felt like commentating that one. And um, I'm just hoping that you know, I have a chance because all these guys playing as Funky Con, usually that does not mean good luck for me. So anyways, it is a room with nine players. We have FB Vinny with 6,041, SCK C45 7092, RCC Lenny has 5,197, there is me with 7,033 VR, and RCC Rick Stowe has 7,673, RCC Jakey has 6,945, 7Y 4868, M whatever is it, his name is, 7176, 5184 for RCC Cloudy, and I ran out of time. Wonderful. So, 8 out of 9 have voted. Looks like someone is using the the CTGP Revolution pack, and thus he actually chose a course rather than the question mark. So anyways, let's see if it chooses me. <laughs> wow, it randomly chooses me. 
because I'm perhaps the only one that chooses the question mark. So, I wanted to choose something random. DS Delpino Square is about to commence here. Alright, 100cc race with 9 players. Here we go, 8th place. Burgundy, burgundy, burgundy! Let's get racing, boys! Alright, that was a pretty bad boogity boogity boogity. But anyways, um, here I am in 4th place now as I got to a pretty nice acceleration here. So 4th place, trailing that misty guy, whatever his name is. It's a crazy name, I got someone else playing as Monkey Kong gets hit with the red shell. And now I'm in third with triple red shells in stock. So I'm gonna hang on to this for a little bit. I'm gonna send one, but then two. However, one hits the wall, it's like the other will not hit the Funky Kong. So all these Funky Kongs are going the short route. It's like the red shell hits the, the wall. We see Funky Kong's going the shortcut, and RCC Rixo crushes me with his Mega Mushroom. So that puts me back in the sixth place. RCC, I think Lenny moves up. And I cannot avoid the PAL, so I leave a mushroom on the track. However, I mean, the mushrooms do benefit a little bit. I'm in fourth place now as one of the monk Funky Kongs. <laughs> I said Monkey, but Funky Kongs actually gets struck by a thundercloud. So, anyways, third place now is one of these Funky Kongs has a little bit of a breakdown. I'm in third place. Gonna lift the banana. Nobody slips on it. So, anyways, third place still. Luckily, and we see these Funky Kongs trying to bob on me, and now I'm in the second because one of these fun Funky Kongs got bob bombed. Anyways, Funky Kongs are on my tail. I'm still in second, and nothing happens. So it's still in third place now as we see one of the Funky Kongs goes right across the river. Why'd I say river? It's across the, the big body of water that separates one half of the land and from the other. Now Red Shell hits me. I send the PAL block to the rest of the players ahead of me. However, the Red Shell does kind of slow me down a little bit. Now we see someone with a star on my tail and fifth place going into the final lap. So, lap three. We see three other Funky Kongs behind me, including a Toad. So, um, four people, I should say, behind me, including a Toad. But, yeah, three Funky Kongs behind me. And we see the banana that I placed that I was nearly able to avoid. Now a green shell that was able to get me does indeed get me. Now one of these Funky Kongs hits the red shell that was dropped by one of the Funky Kongs that got hit by a star. Anyways, sixth place, I'm still holding the PAL block. I'm going to send it. One of these Funky Kongs goes past me and does not get the effect of the PAL. And now I'm in sixth. As one of the Funky Kongs dies, I'm going to go across the mud. So sixth place. Now fifth place. It looks like this will be the last item RCC Jakey is in fourth and it doesn't look very favorable that I will be able to pass him and so that looks like that will be the case that I'll be getting fifth place red shell coming in however I will not get hit by that and we'll get fifth place so fifth place on DS Delfino Square it was kind of a boring race to be honest I mean it was a lot I tried to narrate this one to be a little bit more detailed than I usually do, and we see these Funky Kong, this Funky Kong sitting here on the map waiting for the Toad, which is nowhere near the finish line, so that's how that race will end, with the Funky Kong and Toad unable to finish. So anyways, I did earn 5th place on the SWL Square, minus 24 VR points though, because these guys were simply better. So I now have 7009 VR. Nine players do up for the next one. Looks like the same nine players as before, so I will hit next race. Boy, wouldn't it be nice if I actually got a victory? <clears throat> I guess I'll really, really try for getting first place this race. So anyways, it looks like the same nine players as before. Honestly, I still can't figure out how to pronounce this guy's name. I'm gonna say Misty, but honestly, I just don't know. So it looks like that guy's name perhaps is Misty, but I just don't know how to pronounce that. Anyways, I actually chose a course this time. I chose SNES Ghost Valley 2, and ironically, it looks like this time it does not choose me, despite the fact that SNES Ghost Valley 2 is such a great course. It does choose Moonview Highway instead, and it is this time 150cc with 9 players. 
So hopefully this time I get a little bit more luck. And let's get this one underway. I'm starting off with a pretty nice acceleration that does in fact put me in the lead for a brief second. Now these funky hogs catch up. I unfortunately slipped on a banana and now I get crushed by a car. I was trouble all the way. And now Pearson the Mega Mushroom was able to pass me up without any harm to me. Now a truck somehow is able to elude damage getting hit from a truck that supposedly hit me. I thought it was going to, but for some reason I didn't get the effect of getting smashed by the truck because it was still in the air. So anyways, fourth place now. I have triple mushroom and stock. I send the red shell it hits the car, so nothing happening here and now the lightning bolt is sent and now I'll get rid of the rest of the mushrooms. So fourth place now. And looks like I got it back. I'm gonna use it before these guys grow. However they do grow just in time, so I'm in first place with one mushroom. I'm gonna use the mushroom. Blue shell comes, you know. Um Yep, yeah, looks like that was the case. If I had the mushroom, I mean, I could have avoided that. But that was a little unfortunate on my end because, I mean, it was kind of funny because I said if a blue shell came, and in fact, it did happen. There was a blue shell that hit, and now there's a blue shell that hits the person first place, which will allow me to get first place yet again. My, a couple of mushrooms on track. I'll pick one of these up and move, tr and try to move further and first. As we see, these guys are trying to catch up. I'm trying to hang on to the lead, which is kind of scary as these guys are trying to get closer. You see the Funky Kong on my tail. And I don't get him with the banana. So the Funky Kong is in first place. I'm trying my hardest to eliminate him from contention. Miss the item box. I have a banana in stock. But, man, fake item box. It gets me. And now a red shell gets me. And a bob bomb was placed to my left, and it could have detonated on me. However, me being smart, I stayed to the left. Now I get a thunder cloud. However, it is too little, too late for that thunder cloud, and I come up short on Moonview Highway. I gained third place. Could have gone second if the thunder cloud had um, arrived sooner. But you know, I'm not going to complain. This guy has around the same VR as me. So that's interesting. So I do get third place, FB, Vinny gets first, followed by RCC, Jakey, and I get plus 30 and now have 7,000 at 39 VR points. 39, my favorite number, by the way. So anyways, the next match might have seven players. Alright, it looks like a couple of people will decide to quit. And looks like I was able to quit against my will did not want to quit but because of the fact that we might didn't want to keep the bandwidth I was kicked out of the room not literally kicked like what people would do you know if people want to kick me out of the room but literally just the connection drops anyways I try again to find a new room and we have a room of Six other players, JSK from Finland, Dan the Man, Dan the Man, I think, from the UK. Um, I see a player, Nina from Germany, Sergei Rob, I saw that. Blue V Wee from the United States is also in the room. So that's pretty nice. And hopefully we'll have a, a good race of seven players. So JSK currently in second place on... GC and Mario Raceway. Looks like I'm gonna have a little bit of a long live view as these guys are only on their second lap going into their final lap. Nino is in looks like fifth place as we see the player playing as Daisy is having a little bit of trouble. Now it looks like six players is perhaps when these guys got disconnected. Yep, that's indeed the case. As we have four Funky Kongs now. CA Rob, Dan the Man is still in the room, JSK is still in the room. Nino, who I did not realize was in the room, is in the room. And one of these guys got disconnected. So, player trying to make things interesting is now using a bullet bill and trying to get back in the race. We see CA Rob, I think. 
No, that's Nino in second. Oh, Nino was able to get player at the green shell. Nearly got hit with the green shell, but does get the second place. So, Nino will get second. And that'll do it for GCN Mario Mario um, Circuit. For some reason, I want to say GCN Mario Raceway, but that's not what this course is. So it's now 2:18, as we're now 20 minutes into this video. But um, kind of wanted to do more races. I think this one will be the last one. We have JSK who has 7,034 VR, then the man who has 5,916 VR, CA Rob who has 8,279 VR, player has 7,470 VR, Nino has 9,304 VR, FP Vinny has actually joined me in this room, he has 6,200 VR, and there is me 7039 VR, RCC Maeve who I have not seen before, 7356 for him. I'm gonna try again for SNS Ghost Valley 2 for the grand finale, however, we'll see what the course will be. I'm surprised we see another um, VCC or whatever the clan's called. Unfortunately, it's Dry Dry Ruins to close it out. Kind of disappointing because this course is dull as fuck. I wanted an exciting course to close it out. Anyways, 150cc on Dry Dry Ruins, about to commence. Blah. So that's a bummer. I don't get the start if I wanted. But no worries, as this Funky Kong decided to wait for me. JSK gets blown up. Say, Rob did not get hit by me, by my bullet that R RCC made. So the clan is RCC, not VCC. But anyways, there's a banana in the middle of the track that I'll avoid. I'm in third place now. Going off to a pretty decent start so far. Player in first place, ironically, and now we are in first. As we see, a Funky Kong trying to gain advantage. And I don't get anybody. Well, at least that's what I think. Maybe I did get someone. Now we see a someone with a Thundercloud. And now I get my wheelie knocked down by the Funky Kong. Now, player has the Thundercloud. Or no, that's. That's Vinny. He's trying to kill me with green shells. So I'm gonna use up the gold mushroom. We see CA Rob in fourth. <clears throat> trying to get a little bit closer. Now CA Rob somehow was able to perfectly time using the bullet bell before the lightning bolt was sent to him. And because of that, he's probably in the lead now. So that was crazy. He was literally able to use the bullet bell as soon as the lightning ball was sent and because of that he was able to avoid the, the lightning bolt and he had the effect of the bullet bell when everyone was minimal or miniature so anyways final lap in sixth place trying to catch up we see Dan the man falls off the track and I missed the item box set so I'm in fifth place and item list <clears throat> Not too good of a of a occurrence right here. And now I get a mega mushroom. Not really too beneficial. Oh, but I do shock dodge, which could be very big right now. Unfortunately, I slipped on a banana peel, so that limits the damage. I get a pal block and not a speed item, so that'll pretty much guarantee that I'll get fourth. I had to slow down to avoid hitting the fake item box. However, the sort of kind of victory music plays because I got fourth place, but I get a positive VR, so I actually gained VR points plus 23, and I now have 7,062. So at least you know a bad race was not quite as bad as I thought it would be because I actually got VR points, but yeah, that race is kind of dull. A little mundane, unfortunately, but um, yeah, I guess that's the end of another Mario Kart Wii Worldwide Races video. It's pretty exciting, but I really do need to do more of these.
no doubt about it. Alright guys, well, I uh, thank you all for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, you guys could like this video, of course. If not, you guys do not have to. And also, you guys could comment on this video as well as subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos just like this one. And also, be sure to share this video out with everybody else. I appreciate it, guys. Once again, I am Yoshigai saying so long, everybody.